Okay, so, so what's the process then involved with creating a standout event? And how does that benefit my business? So the process is actually relatively simple. Um, and it's the same as the process would be for uh, an event in, in, in the physical world. The, the difference, I guess, is that whilst we're very used now to delivering events in, in this way, and we've delivered 40 or 50 of them this, this year uh, in the last nine months, I, I'm increasingly conscious that actually new clients in particular that are coming to us, this will be the only time they've delivered a virtual event. So I'm finding myself having to just slow that sort of onboarding process down a touch and, and not baffle people and certainly not to go too fast because it is an unusual world to go into. Fundamentally though, the, the principles are the same behind a virtual event and a physical event. And, 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 and we challenge our, our clients all the time to say, well, if you're uh, going to put this event on, if you're going to deliver this film, deliver this presentation, well, what do you want your audience to either know, do, or feel differently uh, after they've attended that event, watched that film? You know, it could just be that uh, you want them to feel really good about you and your, you and your company and your band. Um, it could be that um, you want them to know a whole load of stuff. Um, or it could be that you want them to do something, and that do something is quite often is get in touch with us and engage with us and, uh, and come and partner with our business. So you don't have to have all three. But, and so that's exactly the same as it was before we went into this hybrid -y sort of virtual world. I think the nuts and the bolts of the conversations early on with a, with a new client are, are really rel relatively simple. Um, for us, the challenge is to uh, find the best platform for uh, that event to be delivered on. So whether that's a very simple live stream or it's something more, more complicated. Content, again, is king. So you know, does that, is that client going to benefit from having a film produced to complement their event? Uh, are they going to benefit from having presentations uh, tidied up and made, made look great? Uh, and so we ask all those questions. The final two bits of that, of course, are a timeline, a rigid timeline, uh, and a budget. Now, the timelines at the moment are slightly odd and they're slightly different to the previous world. So we're now uh, uh, picking up inquiries for events and then delivering them seven days later. So clearly that timeline is, uh, shall we say, squashed. Um, in reality, most events are, are booked about four weeks ahead, uh, but each event comes with a pretty rigid timeline, even if sometimes they're, they're scarily short. I think the concluding point on that is um, that the whole purpose behind that onboarding process uh, for a new client or existing client for, for, for an event is that when they come and work with us, in theory, what should happen is that from that point, they then get to focus on their audience uh, and their content and delivering their message in a concise way and not worry about uh, all the stuff in the background. So from a client's perspective, is that, is, that, is that the norm? Is that usual, having such a short time scale or is it an aberration of the, the times that we now live in? I, I think it's the latter. Um, it would be very unusual for a client to uh, request a physical event uh, with sort of seven days notice. Uh, it's actually relatively simple for a client to request us to deliver uh, a virtual event in, in, in seven days. Clearly in the physical world you could try and find a hotel room and da 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 and book all that AV. Um, so I think that's symptomatic of actually virtual events allows you to book at much shorter notice, which I'm clearly going to regret saying this for, forever. Um, but yeah, it is a different landscape, uh, and the lead times are, are, are much shorter. H having said that, as we sit here now in December 2020, we are already looking at hybrid events that are being delivered next October, October 2021. So it may be that actually there's a bit of sort of settlement. Um, but clearly, we're in a very different landscape as well. So despite COVID happening and everybody suddenly working from home and, uh, and all the things that we're used to, um, you know, we're still stuck in the, the mire of, of Brexit. Uh, and, and um, you know, so add Brexit and COVID together, then, you know, the landscape's very difficult to predict at the moment.